Hello there. Yes, Christine. Yes. It is my distinct honor to be talking to you. As you know, I'm Arthur Spatchcock. It's a pleasure, yes. really, it is. Thank you. I have been a long time fan of Sonchu. I mean, implicably so. Hmm. My favorite character actually is Magichan, to be honest. Oh, do tell me why. Magichan, it's because of his. You know, he wants to help all of his friends, and with his ability to contact them all simultaneously at the same time, it's an amazing ability to have. Quite, he is the psychic type after all. Right, yes, and I absolutely love the fact that, you know, he can plan things accordingly and contact everyone simultaneously and get that plan out. He can also see into the future a bit as well. How far into the future can he see, actually? You know, he doesn't want to ruin his own future, right? Mm, not enough to, uh... Well, he knows quite... He can see quite a bit far into the future, but although there are details of which you might not be able to see a point or two... Right, he wouldn't want to time logic himself, accidentally mess up the future by trying to affect it. Quite. Yes. Also, I'm a big fan of Rose Chew. I think every... I think every Sonic Chew fan loves Rose Chew. Thank you. Of course. Now, as I said, I'm interviewing you because I want to get some personal information about Sonic Chew and a little bit about yourself. For All example, right. I cannot wait to see some more pages of the latest chapter, Chapter 11. Great, the Christmas special is fantastic. Loving Kevin as a character, by the way. Okay, thank you. But, uh... Are there more coming? Because I can tell you right now, I know a few rabid fans, my niece included, who can't wait to see some more. Yes, the, yes, more pages will be coming and are still in, are still in the uh, works. It just uh, depends on my mood and how I feel on the days. Cause oh yes, we, we all get the frumps. Perfect. Yes, we all get the frumps. Quite. But they're still in, they're still in my mind and in the processes and everything. I just take it one moment at a time, and I do what I can when I'm able. Absolutely. You, you do it at your pace. That's what I expect. I don't want you to rush yourself. Indeed. And as for your medallions and stuff, I'm still thinking about getting one, but honestly, I just don't know where I could ever wear it. <laughs> I don't know. You could always display it at the very least. Yeah, that's very true. And your amiibo collection is getting quite large, actually. I have a wide variety of characters and a few more to come out as it's to expect. Have you considered releasing a box set at some point with a special edition? Maybe, ooh, how about this? The Christian, the Christine Weston Chandler Ultimate Box Set. The first edition set, all ten of the original completed comics, and a medallion of your choice for a hundred dollars. For a hundred dollars? That's that's quite, that's, uh, it would take more funds for me to, more funds than that for me to be able to acquire the material figures. Oh, we, well, we could worry about those details in the, uh, the process, the manufacturing aspect. I'm talking about after we make this stuff big, Christine. Not right, right now. Once you get some, once you actually get some, uh, clout behind Sonichu, you won't have to worry about things like funding anymore. I just wait to see how it comes about, and when it comes about, I'll be able to plan better. Precisely. So, okay, I guess we should get to the question part. This conversation is great, but I don't want to waste all of your time. You might, you must be very busy working on smaller projects as is. Quite indeed. Indeed, indeed. All right. So, I guess the first question is: If Sonichu were brought over here to Europe, you know, Britain, and all that, I guess if you want to be technical. Um, how do you think he would be best implemented? As a cartoon or maybe a comic? I'm sure probably both. Hmm. Cartoon and a comic. Ooh, that's ambitious. Eventually, uh, I would do be the voice acting of Sanchu and myself, personally. Now, that is a question I do have to bring up. With the, um, with the change you've made in your life, going from Chris... To Christine, that is an interesting aspect based on the original comic pages. 
How do you plan on altering that to fit into the storyline? It's been it's been implemented during the uh, during the eleventh book here. Ah, uh, it is. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a bit of I think I've mentioned there's a bit of a hint of that uh, amongst the recent pages that I've loaded. But if not, there is something that will be hinted in the upcoming pages, of which I do have planned, of which we're. Everybody's gathered around the Christmas tree in the shopping mall. Yes, you've been bringing up that Christmas party on the last update on the comic, and let me tell you, I was absolutely surprised you had to stop right there. You could have just gone a little further. Yeah, but yeah, it just depends on my pace and my mood, and uh, all the other projects and everything that goes on in my life. It just It's really busy around here. Understandable, I, understandable. I mean, I certainly do a lot around here, and uh, our funds are most are mostly fixed yet uh, limited and can be varying. But, but but for the most part, we get by fairly well throughout the months. You're not hurting or anything, are you? I mean, you're not like you're not stuck eating ramen noodles and uh, cups of water, are you? No, we get no, we get by fairly well. We uh, we try to eat very well and good. <laughs> I myself had some eggies in a basket today and some toad in the hole. It was really good. I've warmed up a bat, I warmed up a couple of eggs with spinach to make green eggs and ham. Really now? How did that turn out? Was it good? Yes. Hmm, I'll have to try that sometime. I mean look up on the internet. You uh put you uh, put the eggs in, the, in there with uh, put the pieces of the spinach leaves and mix them together to put pour it into the frying pan and put in whatever else you might, might like some salt or cheese and or maybe even put the put pieces of ham into the eggs make yourself uh, kind of an omelet there as well it works for, it'll work out pretty good so you really are taking care of yourself physically I've noticed in the last couple of videos that you've done you've been looking a lot slimmer thank you it's nice to see you taking care of yourself. Yes, I try to get out and about uh, most days of the week and get at least uh, the 1,000 to 10,000 steps, if not greater. 10,000 steps, that's impressive. Even I don't get that many, but I sit in front of a computer all day doing work, so I don't have that choice. I'm sitting behind my, I'm sitting behind my desk or... Uh, or sitting with the dogs and uh, giving them some time, but I try to make time for my family as well during during each day. How has your mother been? If I'm not digging too deep, if it's going too far, just let me know. My mother, my mother is in quite good health. She is not uh, lazy or fat like a Snorlax, like uh, some people. I've believe. I've seen the jokes. I find them in completely poor taste. Yes, very poor taste, and quite most inaccurate. Now, one thing that does come to mind is that I know there are quite a few people out there who have besmirched your name, not only yours, but your creations as well. This Asperchu, as he was called, was completely asinine, if I remember correctly. Yes. Now, this, um, per now, this person won't make an appearance if we try to bring this business deal to light, will he? Yeah, Aspertu is definitely not a canon character, except for uh, in book 10 where to try to put a damper on the parodies of my character, which is considerable parody of the other two characters of Sonic and Pikachu. Yeah, but essentially that's where I try to remedy and try to make him, make him to be better. As in uh, work, among which drawn to look better. I mean, the way that guy drew his characters and pages, it was just sort of blocky, and that's not really quite all that befitting. No, well, understandable. I mean, he's besmirching your name, he's stealing your copyright. Of course, it's not going to look as good as the original. Also, the way my hair turned out after the semi-permanent hair color kind of makes me look like Sailor ne Neptune. Yes, I and see I the resemblance. Quite, and I find that quite quite favorable, since 
in the anime, she was an artiste as well on the violin. Uh, I would suggest I would suggest Christine that if you really want to bring out that blue color, that you should pick a lighter color first and start with that, and then hit it with the blue, and it will come out extremely vibrant. I'll keep that in mind. Like go with a um like a blonde or a platinum blonde, and then wait a few days, hit it with that blue, and that'll hit that battery blue color you're looking for perfectly. Okay. Because it would really bring out the color in your eyes, you know. Indeed. Okay, so we left off at Sonichu, if I remember correctly. Oh uh, yeah, we were talking about we were talking about the Aspertu. That's part. right, we're talking about Aspertu. I noticed there's a few other things, like when you brought Simona back from the dead. That was a very ballsy move, I have to say. Yeah, I just don't care about the guy who created his Simon Chu and claiming that Simona was based off of that. That's not the case at all. I mean, even long before Simon Chu ever came about, from my viewpoint, I wanted to make a ground-type character, among which... And and uh, what what def I would definitely had in mind amongst which uh, drill arms and that sort of thing, but I just never really could figure out the uh, shape and formula in my head. But then eventually I did see the Simon Chu and and from and from that uh, I took a little I, I took a little bit of the here and there and I made the Rose Chu character. And uh, I mean Simona is. Was, I got that name based off of the um, movie that's called Simone, uh, which uh, that was about a holographic uh, woman that was depicted as a famous uh, singer. I see, I see, yes. Well, you know, all that copyright infringement and stuff, everything. Yeah, I don't think you'll have to worry about that. I mean, the person would have to come forward and complain about it, and what are the odds of that? Yeah, quite. And plus, definitely stronger than his Simon Chu with the simultaneum bones and recovery aspect, similar to Wolverine. Actually, I looked up simultaneum, and it's an actual thing. Huh, it is. I mm. thought I just made it up. No, it's actual. I don't think it has much to do with what you're talking about, but it's actually an electronic thing with computers. Huh. Well, Chalk it up to coincidence, definitely, because I never heard of that. No, that no, it's completely be. coincidental. I mean, it seems to work. I mean, after all, it's basically given her Wolverine-like powers. Uh, yes. And then the irony, going to computers and electronics, and she's a ground and electric type, it turns out to work out pretty good. Hmm, maybe we should point that out sometime. Make it a I'll part make it, of I'll, make it part I'll of the character. I'll make a little joke at that one point then. Yes, sounds like a good idea to me. So we were talking about Sonichu, and like I said, you have to, we don't have to worry or hope too much about some of your um, less than desirable people. I know that you went under a bit of a hiatus for a while. You came back stronger than ever. I mean, I thought Sonichu was dead and gone forever, but then you came back with new comics and new medallions and the amiibos, and I was blown away. Yes, I never meant, I was, that was never meant, I mean, Sanchu was not dead. I never meant for that to be uh, the outcome there. I fell into the hiatus because I felt overwhelmed with the stress and, uh, shoot, what's the word that I'm trying to think of? Well, anyway, it just, I just felt overwhelmed from between the internet trolls weighing me down and I had to take my web pages down because of them hacking into it and it just, Killed my, it just killed my inspiration for a while. And then eventually I realized that trolls are people, and I started finding, and I, especially after I identified myself as a female soul trapped in this male body and a lesbian trans woman from that, I, def, I definitely was able to turn my self esteem around for that. But uh, I still need improvements here and there. Oh, no, but you I'm seem more confident there. than ever. Honestly, yes. you seem more confident than you did five years ago, and that's great. Thank you. It's nice to see that you finally came to terms with the fact that if you can't beat the trolls, you just ignore them. Yes. 
And definitely to quote the WatchMojo.com top ten internet trolls, that definitely puts it in fair perspective that they are still just people don't know how to better communicate in better words or emotions. But yeah, no way's perfect anyway. Right. Okay, so so far we've covered Sonichu, we've covered um, the people from your past that hopefully won't come forward trying to claim rights to Sonichu. We wouldn't want that issue when we're trying to set up our little endeavor. Now, the yeah. last thing we need to talk about is your input on this. Now, you said you wanted to voice Sonichu and yourself in the show. That makes sense. Yes. Are there any other characters? Now... Honestly, there are a few characters we simply cannot touch. Now, I notice you brought in Ren Skysor to replace Dr. Robotnik. Now, that's a good start. But I can yes. tell you right now that my associates cannot get Sonic into that show easily. Yeah. Although, I'll tell you, um, definitely I was able to rectify the problem in book one where Simona disguised her, transformed, and made herself into Sonic for that book, and then definitely later into Amy Rose, just for the walk-in. Okay, so that will definitely cover those small bases. Because honestly, because yeah. we can't touch characters like, you know, we can't touch Robotnik, we can't touch Aqua Teen Hunger Force, because that'll just create all kinds of issues with other companies, and they're gonna, they're all gonna want their piece of the pie. And let's face it, you don't want your piece to get any smaller. Quite. What made you bring in the uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, if I may ask? You remember that scene when they're inside the the restaurant? When Son uh, No, it's the mall, and Sonic Chu and Rose Chu are eating at the restaurant, and you've got the little meat wad thing on the uh, table. Oh, oh, oh yes. yeah, but yes, just to make a little fun, happy, fun, yeah. I do remember that part. you uh, got to be careful, was... because I can tell you right now, people on the internet will notice the smallest things and point them out. Yeah, but it's not pertinent to the story or whatever. It it's might not just, hurt anything. And it's not going to be repeated. I will... And, I will oh, I'm sorry. Please continue. It'll definitely be revealed in a later part that after I made a parent in the Facebook post that Sanchu is allergic to pickles. Yes, I find that... I've always found his allergy to pickles to be quite hilarious. Yeah. And uh, kind of a spoiler, there will be a part in a future story where, he ha where in a pretty much a dream scenario, he has to swim in a river of essentially pickle brine juice. Oh no! And, and he bloats up during the swim. Really? So he's Quite. like he's like deathly allergic to pickles. Quite. Well, he better hope he gets an indifferent shot after that. But he's quite. Uh, quite strong, so, but he's able to survive, but, and at the end of the river is a, he is a healing pond in which he recovers from the allergy fairly quick. Well, I guess that'll definitely take care of that problem. Yeah. Now, are you going to be introducing any more new characters into the series? Because right now, you've already got quite a collection of people already ready to go, but seeing as how previous villains in the series have either been arrested or are gone, or dead, or missing, I should say. Are you introducing new villains into the series based on the current, you know, issues in your life? I would say that's still yet to be determined. But at least I was, at least I am definitely glad to give Count Graduan a past human form in which to lead into his spirit. And uh, another small spoiler... Among the uh, people he'll be bringing in uh, the bodies, he finds somebody that looks nearly exactly like as he used to. Uh, uh, he brings in that becomes one of the jerk cops, so he brings him in and moves his soul from the metal sign shoe into that body. Now, i got to tell you right now, I definitely want to see more metal sonic shoe. Yeah, and you'll definitely see graduate soul in metal sonic shoe's body, and... Uh, Skysaur will be employed under Graduan, and he'll make a few more of them. See, what you need in the series, I think, to really push the bad guys now, instead of just having jerk ops, you need, like, robotic jerk ops, like 2.0. Uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, 
After all, when you have a hero like Sonichu, Sonichu is already pretty powerful, and all of his friends are pretty strong too. You need to start adding that concept of conflict by making the enemies tougher too. Yes, that will be taken under consideration. I already have a few. I already have the few ideas in my mind, among which, but that is definitely one I could definitely add into uh, the uh, into the jerk cop and jank cops there. Because make them make them a bit cyborg. Yes, say. you know it's like uh, it's like Power Rangers. The original Power Rangers with Zordon when they had the putties, and then they had the Lord Zed putties. Yeah. Quite. But anyway, yes, I will take all that under great consideration. It's just ideas to implement, you know, create, because after all, if you're going to make a cartoon, you definitely want it to be action-packed for the kids. Uh, yes, action-packed, but I also would like to be able to put a good lesson or a positive story in. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But a nice little bit of column A and a little bit of column B, and that makes sure you got a great show for kids. Yes, I do agree. Because after all, your core demographic are the kids. You want them, because they're the ones who are going to get their kids, their parents to buy them Sonichu action figures and Sonichu video games. Yep, definitely another amongst my pipe dreams there. Well, the great thing about a pipe dream is it's always there. So if you try hard enough, it might happen. Yes, we're thank you. It's, we're slowly building the foundations here. It's Right now, this is the foundation. I'm going to show this to my superiors, and we're going to see where things go from there. That sounds good. I will get back to you, and I will share their ideas with you to see what the next step is. All right. That's good, and uh, definitely be sure to uh, when you when you broadcast this interview to talk about my Quickville shopping store on Etsy. Absolutely. And, uh, and I'm and I'm guessing that you do have the link to that, so copy and paste oh, of that course. to the storefront. And this this has been good. Yes, it's been a great conversation. Yeah, like I said before, it was a glorious opportunity to get this first opportunity to speak with you. Thank you. Of course, you know you're one of my. I'm one of your biggest fans. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate the, uh, your support and everyone's su support, regardless of them being good or bad or trolls or bullies or indifferent. Well, you know what they say, Christine. Uh, no publicity is bad publicity. I've, I have heard that. Yes. So even if people. Even if people are being jerks and making fun of you, they're still bringing attention to you. And bringing attention to you brings attention to Sonichu. Yes, I have realized that. All right, Christine, I think we've covered enough on this first little meeting. I'll get back to you in a few days to see how things have turned out with my superiors. Okay, thank you, Arthur. No problem, Christine. You have a nice evening. Yes, you have a good evening, too. Y'all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.